What's going, guys? Happy New Year! Happy Chinese New Year! Gong Hei Fa Choi Lai Si Dao Loi. Chúc mừng năm mới, xin nhiên khỏe lơ. Say he bok mani, kala say yo. What's going on, guys? Of course, you know this is Vic Lee, and once again, we are here today for the Chinese New Year's. Happy Lunar New Year's to everyone out there. Of course, I'm very excited. Tons of countries, tons of people, family are gathering together. Today, tomorrow, they're gonna celebrate to the next week. And for some countries, they'll celebrate for a whole the entire month. It's a big deal for us. Uh, Lunar New Year happens on February 5th. Many countries are celebrating it. It is the year of the pig, the Zodiac pig. That's why you see two pigs right here. Happy New Year's, guys. Year of the pig, guys. Yes, the pig is concerned. There are a few traits with the pig. Uh, pigs are known to be good-tempered, kind-hearted, positive, loyal. Uh, people born in the year of the pig are honest and frank is in personality. They're very chivalrous and really well-mannered. And they also have very calm appearance and a strong heart. And those, those are actually a few of the traits of a character of a, a pig. And of course, you know, there are 12 animals in the zodiac. 2019 is the year of the pig. So, um, as far as you don't know, I am born in the year of the pig. <laughs> Wondering if you are born in the year of the pig, I'll be leaving the year right here down below. You can see the years. If you are born in this year, you are a pig in the zodiac sign. If you are interested in the zodiacs, uh, the 12 animals of the zodiac, I'll be leaving a link down below as well too. You can check out what zodiac you. There's the sheep, there's the monkey, there's the lamb, uh, there's the, the tiger, the dragon. There's tons of zodiacs in there. Check it out. So, uh, yes, let's get this vlog started. What's going on, guys? We have arrived in Chinatown for the Chinatown Parade. Let's go check it out. We have arrived in Chinatown, Brian early, to find parking. We'll go grab some quick dim sum and then get ready for the parade. So anyways, we have arrived at Chinatown. We're at the Triple Crown restaurant. We're just gonna have, uh, we're just trying to kill time right now to the parade, which is about an hour and a half from now. So we're here early, we have some dim sum for you guys, we have some, some specialty items for you guys to actually go see. Now for the spirit of Chinese New Year and the year of the pig, you gotta grab the specialty, which is the piggy custard buns. What is cute low piggy custard buns? Also, fun. Let's see what's inside, guys. Let's see what's inside. Oh, oh yeah. Nice, sweet, fluffy, piggy custard buns. Delicious. Mm. It has a very nice golden color to it. Oh, it's a perfect snack or dessert. That was good. 
And another one of their specialties is the curry cuttlefish. Try this really quick right here. Oh wow. That's really yummy. Cuttlefish is just a little bit chewy. They're very manageable. Some places make it very chewy and it's hard to uh, get it down, but these just kind of just chew a little bit. It breaks apart easily. It's very tasty, a very subtle curry flavor. No spice to it, no kick to it. But other than that, these are amazing, guys. Curry cuttlefish. Mm, oh yeah. Chicken feet. People are, seem to be very scared or frightened about chicken feet, but I think chicken feet is one of the most tastiest, gelatinous uh, part of the chicken there is out there. I mean, look at this guys. Chicken feet guys. Mm. I think that chicken feet is my favorite dim sum dish there is. If you like that gelatinous, uh, kind of a little sweetness to it, a little saltiness to it at the same time. You're in it just to chew the, the outer skin layer and the, the tendons of that part. But honestly, that's that's pretty much it. There's no meat inside. These are deep fried shrimp balls. Very plump, 100% shrimp, and guess what? It's cooked in lard. Lard is pig's oil or pork oil. Shrimp ball is cooked in lard. Oh yeah. Steaming hot guys, steaming hot. 100% shrimp inside. Oh, yeah. So we're here at the Chinese New Year Parade, the crowd is gathering guys, it is gathering. Tons of people here, they're expecting 30,000 people in, um, to view the parade. This is the 108th annual Chinatown Parade, amazing sight guys. Exciting. Little bike right here. Filming this, shooting this. A lot of photographers as well too. Yeah, the crowd is gathering. Tons of people here. Estimated about 30,000 people.
guys. Parade is over. It is snowing hard. Extremely hard. It was a good parade. It's getting really cold now. It's drizzling. Guys. This is the aftermath after the parade. There's no one out on the streets. Completely emptied out. It's a blizzard snow coming in. Maybe? I'm not sure, but uh, there's definitely a storm coming in here. Oh yeah. That was a amazing parade. I mean, it's tons of just people out. Whether it's cold out or hot out, warm out. Just amazing time. And hey, it's over now. Until next year, guys. So we are part two of this Chinese New Year's adventure. We're going to have dinner at a, uh, a family restaurant in Chinatown on Whitwood Street. Uh, my uncle's here in town today. So yeah, we're going to have a big family dinner and I'll see you guys later. I want to introduce you to one of my, my uncle. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Uncle Kok. <laughs> We have finally arrived in Chinatown. We're going to a place called Wentworth Seafood House. Never been here before. First time going. It's a chilly night tonight, guys. Very chilly. No one's out. I mean, it's pretty empty out today. So guys, this ends this Chinese New Year's vlog. Thank you for viewing this video. Had an amazing meal with the family. Uh, great food, great seafood. Oh wow, it's in general, it's just so good. I definitely recommend Wentworth, Wentworth Seafood House. Definitely go check it out. But yes, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to hit the bell button for next time. And happy Chinese New Year's to everyone. Um, yeah, it's just a great night, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time.